Hey there, Paul from Trusted House Painter. One of the most popular questions I get asked by clients and property owners is how long should my paint job last? And in this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the factors that make your paint job last, as well as some of the considerations you should understand when, or the signs of when you should paint your house. Now, to answer the question, how long should my paint coating last? In a generalized answer, if you wash your home properly, prep it properly, prime it properly and put two coats of top quality paint, your house should last anywhere from a decade to two decades. That's how long the paint coating should last. Now, there's a lot of factors that make up the variables as to when and how paint breaks down. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about that. The first thing I'm gonna identify though is the maintenance principle. And I tell this to all my clients. If you do not maintain your paint coating, it will fail faster. It's a lot like your body. It's a lot like your room. It's a lot like your house. If you don't maintain it on a regular basis, it's a lot of work to restore it back to a clean uh, room or a healthy body. And once your body gets sick, it's a little too late to restore it back to a healthy state. So your house is no different. Your house needs to be maintained and that will extend the life of your paint coating. So that's tip number one. There's a couple factors as to why paint fails. And in my experience, the two factors that make the biggest difference is water and moisture and sun and UV penetration. And I'm gonna give you an example. If you went out into the desert, the hot desert, and you didn't have a brim on your hat protecting your face and you didn't have sunscreen on, which is like a paint coating, how long do you think you'd last before your skin burns and then cracks and wrinkles? Well, it's pretty soon, it's pretty quick. Your house is no different. If you have big soffits or overhangs, like you can see in this, this, this house behind me has big soffit and overhangs, it helps protect the siding from the penetrating rain and the UV. So that's the first thing, big soffits help protect that. Houses with no soffits, get direct sunlight, get direct rain, and in that there's a um, higher chance of paint failure. The two things you need to watch out for is UV, sun penetration, and water and moisture. Uh, another thing I tell my clients is if you have bushes, always cut them back from your house. If there's no airflow between your home and the bushes, they tend to hold moisture. And where there's moisture, it tends to fail and it can lead to wood rot, which is even worse. That's another maintenance principle that keeping your bushes away from your home to help airflow and to stop the actual um, uh, breakdown of the paint coating from moisture. So some of the signs of when you need to paint. Once you start seeing flaking paint, it's actually beyond the time to paint. So it's kind of like being thirsty. When you feel the sensation of being thirsty, your body's telling you that it's beyond the point to drink water. You're already dehydrated. So when you see flaking paint on your house, it means that it's already beyond the point of needing paint. Once you start seeing cracking in your paint, that's the sign of when you should paint. A lot of homeowners will say, oh, next year, next year. But then when they come back, they realize, whoa, it's way worse. The flaking has dramatically increased. Well, that's because it's beyond the point of painting. So flaking paint is a sign that you need to prep and prime. Another um, factor is if it's chalky. If you wipe your hand on, on the paint and you find some kind of chalkiness on your hand, it means that the paint coating is slowly breaking down. Now, it doesn't mean the paint coating is dead or it's not working, it's not protecting your home. It's just slowly breaking down and that is another sign that you should paint. Uh, another sign is fading of colors. Like this house behind me is a darker blue color and once it starts fading, that's a sign that you should look into getting it painted. It's not, again, it's not gonna damage your your, coat, your house or, or the coating if you don't paint it, but that is a sign that you should paint it. And the last one is if you have a stucco house. If you've got a stucco house and it's cracking, crumbling, chalking, that's a sign that you should either paint it or get it restuccoed. You can either repaint it with an elastomeric coating or an acrylic latex coating, or you can restucco it. Some of the factors that make a difference whether you need to paint or not is where your house is located and how it sits with respect to the geographical location. So for example, if your house faces south, you've got a big south facing house, then you're likely going to have to paint the south facing side more than the north facing side that doesn't get any sun. However, the north facing sign side will probably have a lot more mo uh, mildew and moss buildup, which you'll need to maintain. 
So you don't always have to repaint your whole house. Sometimes you can just paint two sides of your house. So if your house takes a lot of early morning uh, sun, just like this house, then the east side might need more than the west side. Um, if your house has a lot of sun in the evening on the west side, well then you might need a little bit more maintenance on the west side. So depending on how your house or your building is situated, those sides that get a lot of sun will usually need more maintenance than the north side, generally speaking. Another factor is dark colors versus light colors. Dark colors have a higher heat signature and they heat up the substrate. And if it's wood, well then it generally moves within the different climate when it's cold and when it's hot, the boards actually concave and flex because they're organic materials. And when that happens, acrylic latex is designed to be a little bit flexible, but sometimes that breaks open. And when it breaks open and the paint crack happens, then you're um, allowing moisture to enter into that paint coating, get behind the paint coating, which causes paint failure. Again, water. Not a, not a good friend of paint. If you have a lighter color, it generally needs less maintenance and it fades less. Whereas darker colors need more maintenance and can fade more than lighter colors. When you're choosing your colors, you don't have to go with uh, a, a dark color just because your house is dark. However, dark colors are nice. They just might need a little bit more maintenance than uh, light colors, especially if you're doing dark blues or black trim. And the last, uh, a factor that makes a difference is whether you're staining or painting. Now, you can see this little trellis behind me here. This is stained. Stain doesn't have a lot of pigment in it. And because it doesn't have a lot of pigment in it, it gets, uh, the sun can uh, burn it off faster. The UV can penetrate that wood and make it go gray or burn it off faster. So stains need a lot more maintenance than paint. Paint has titanium pigments in it. The pigments actually act as the sunscreen, which protects the substrate. So using a solid stain or a paint will generally give you a little bit longer longevity with your coating. Whereas a stain like this here, this arbor here, um, that definitely needs more maintenance. Or that stain that you can see right here, that, that little face of that, that board, that'll need more maintenance than the fascia, the white fascia next to it because it's just more vulnerable to the UV rays. These are just some of the factors of what constitutes paint failure and when you should be maintaining your paint job. If you have any questions about your paint job or you'd like more advice about this, you can contact us at 1-866-PAINT-18. That's 1-866-PAINT-18. Or you can send an email to support at Trusted House Painter and we'll be more than happy to help you navigate through the process of painting your home. And if you have a big home like this one here, and you need help painting it, and you need professionals painting it, go to trustedhousepainter.com and our tool will help you organize your job, create your scope of work, and get quotes from locally trusted house painters near you.